Hello everyone, this is Herb from World of Walt coming to you live from Disney's Animal Kingdom on a sunny Saturday morning. We're going to go check out Rafiki's Planet Watch before it closes down for what appears to be a refurbishment. It's about 82 degrees, sunny, going to be up in the 90s today. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be sharing a prize. I'll be accepting entries through Monday, October 1st, 2018. Uh, the prize this week is pretty fun. It includes this Minnie Mouse Trekkin pin. And if you share this video, I will also include a $15 Disney gift card. So that's the prize I'm happy to give away today. If you want to enter to win the prize, here's what you do. Send an email to me with the subject of Rafiki. Send that email to info at worldofwalt.com and I will enter you to win the prize for the Minnie Mouse trading pin. If you also share the video, I'll include a $15 Disney gift card. I'll provide some info again later on in the broadcast on how you can enter to win the prize. Thanks for joining me today. There's been a little bit of confusion in the rumor mill around Rafiki's Planet Watch. Uh, there was some information that the area was going to close, which appears to be true. October 20th, 2018 is going to be the last day for Rafiki's Planet Watch. Um, now, it seems like the rumor is that Rafiki's Planet Watch will reopen in the spring of 2019 after a refurbishment. There was some question as to whether or not uh, Rafiki's Planet Watch was going to close permanently. Maybe it was going to be pulled down and turned into something brand new. Uh, Zootopia is often a common hope for that area, but as it seems right now, it's probably going down for a relatively minor refurbishment. So let's go check it out while we can see it in its current state. Thanks for being here with me today. Melissa, good morning to you. Mary, good morning. Thanks for being here. Live, Disney's Animal Kingdom. Stacy, thank you for being here. We are going to Rafiki's Planet Watch, uh, back in the Africa section, right next door to Kilimanjaro Safaris. It's actually one of those attractions that's sort of fun. People often go right by it. It's not a headliner. Uh, but the train ride is very cool. You have a chance to go back and see uh, where Disney cares for some of the animals. There's also a petting zoo, which we will check out, uh, which is unlike most petting zoos because you cannot feed the animals. That's a good thing. When you feed the animals, they associate you with food and they will normally mob you. So in this case, you can actually see some relatively calm pigs, goats, typically. Denise from St. Petersburg, Florida, thank you for being here. Emily from Carmel, Indiana has got 83 days to go. Hope you have a good upcoming trip. Seems like you're coming in a good time of year. Stephanie, 29. Carl was here last week. Hope it's cooled down some. Yeah, you know, to me, it feels like it is cooling down a little bit, but it is still hot. It's going to be on the lower 90s today. It's definitely still humid but not quite as humid as it has been. It is the end of September, so we should be getting a little bit of break here. Aisha, good morning from Michigan to you. Coming back in December of 2019. Kelly, good morning. Thanks for joining me here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Welcome to the Africa section. We're gonna head back near Kilimanjaro Safari hang a right and we're gonna go check out Rafiki's Planet Watch. We'll take the train back, go through the little trail, enter the conservation station and check out the petting zoo before this area shuts down on October 20. Jackie is a Rafiki's Planet Watch fan from New Jersey. Thanks for being here. Kathy, good morning to you. Ontario, Ohio. Didi from New York. Douglas says, thanks for the video. You're welcome. Thanks for being here. Welcome to Harambe. Be giving a prize away today. I'll share a little bit more information with you along the way. Hey, we're going to stop here for a minute. Check out the fun.
Tim is making a dance request. I am dancing right now. You just can't see me because I'm behind the camera. Vicky said she just read it as opening next spring. That is the latest information I'm seeing as well. So at first the news came out with Vicky's Planet Watch was closing. Cast members were notified. Uh, and then people didn't really know why or for how long. So it was unclear. It was unclear to me. But now the latest news appears to be that Rafiki's Planet Watch is going down for a refurbishment and will open again in the spring. Uh, Dinah asked, why are they closing? Uh, likely because of a relatively short-term refurbishment. So some people were thinking maybe Rafiki's Planet Watch is going to close and get rethemed. as Utopia has been a popular rumor, but it looks like that's probably not going to be the case especially if it's just down for maybe four or five months, give or take. Okay, so let me share with you today the prize I'll be giving away. I'll share it again at the end of the broadcast, but just so people have a chance to check it out now. So today, the prize I'm giving away is this really nice Minnie Mouse Trekkin pin. Not sure the focus is working very well there, but it's got Minnie Mouse in his safari outfit. Uh, and if you also share today's video, I will include this shiny new Disney gift card, 15 bucks. So how can you enter to win today's prize? It's pretty easy. Just send an email. From the subject of that email, put the word Rafiki. Send the email to info at worldofwalt.com. I'll enter you to win today's prize. I'll also hook you up with our weekly newsletter. Good luck. And I'll share that information again at the end of the video. But just because you were watching today, I appreciate that. I wanted to share a little Disney fun with you. I always appreciate the comments and the shares. All right, welcome to Rafiki's Planet Watch. Tim says his daughters love Rafiki's Planet Watch. It is a, it's a fun place to visit. I think it's often overlooked. The Wildlife Express train station straight ahead. Tony, good morning to you from Boston. Says thanks for the video, you're welcome. Brian says, looks like a hot day. Yep, we're gonna have lower 90s. Definitely a warm one. Okay, here we are at the Harambe Rail Station, home of the Wildlife Express, which will take us to the conservation station. Get to go through a few backstage areas. Uh, interesting, we've got the sign for the Disney Play app, which has made its debut actually at the same time that Disney opened Toy Story Land. You can open Disney Play and um, play some games while you're in the queue. I've played some of them, they're kind of fun. Lori from Groveland, hello to you. A little dark here in the train station. Stephanie shared the video. Thank you very much for doing that. Thomas from Claremont. How's it going? Hi, right, Cindy. Welcome to the Fiki's Fini Planet Watch. We're going to take the Conservation Station Wildlife Train. We'll check out the Conservation Station and the Petting Zoo. The news is that Rafiki's Planet Watch is going to close on October 20th and will reopen in the spring. There was some confusion on what was going on. Was it going to close down permanently? Might it get rethemed as Utopia? Michelle says, loves the Saturday Disney visit. Thank you very much. Appreciate you being here. Joanne says, thanks for the Saturday morning Disney fix. Thank you for being here. More people than usual are here waiting for Rafiki's Planet Watch. Aaron shared, thank you very much. Antoinette asked, is it true that Rafiki's Planet Watch is closing? So it's been a little bit confusing. Understanding is though that yes, it will. October 20th will be the last day. Actually today, September 29th is supposed to be the last day for character meet and greets. October 20th is the last day for this area, the park itself. 
uh, that weren't quite sure if it was going to close permanently, if it was going to get rethemed. The latest rumor or news that's out right now is that Rafiki's Planet Watch will open in the spring of 2019, and given a relatively short downtime, it's my guess that they're just going to spruce things up a little bit. Probably not enough time for a complete reworking or retheming of the area. Geraldine says, enjoys the videos. Thank you very much. Donald, thanks for sharing. Don from Pennsylvania. Kelly says, how busy is it toward the middle of October? Um, you know, it's interesting as Disney has changed the pricing for tickets that sometimes which have traditionally been slower, like middle of October, have now become a bit busier because they're not as expensive. So Disney has done a really good job of evening out crowds by adjusting pricing, which is actually good for everybody. It means that if you're looking for a less expensive time to visit, that's not an inexpensive time, but a less expensive time that's available. Uh, and if you want to come at a really popular time of year, like between Christmas and New Year's, you can do that too. So a long-winded way to say, you know, the crowds probably aren't too bad mid-October, but you're not going to have the place to yourself. Uh, probably a good idea to check out the crowd calendars as well for your specific visit dates. Craig, hello from Michigan. Been to Animal Kingdom eight times, and I think he said he's never seen this train, so I'm glad you're going to have a chance to check it out before it closes October 20th. Lori, good morning to you from California, bright and early. Michelle getting ready for work. Kim's going to be here next week. Hope you have a good trip. Bob is a Disney guy twice a year. All right, I heard an announcement a minute ago. The train should be on the way. We've had a nice long wait. There are plenty of people here. Stephanie's going to be here October 20th. So if you want to check out Rafiki's Planet Watch, and I think that will be the last day to do so before it's down, supposedly till springtime. Oh, Nancy from Kentucky. Well, good morning to you. Bruce said, how did I miss this? If you're referring to Rafiki's Planet Watch, it's easy to miss. Uh, it's definitely not a headliner attraction. I think I hear the train coming. Uh, not too far from Kilimanjaro Safari. All right, the announcement train is on the way. Attention, please. Wild Life Express, bound for conservation station. I can hear it too, Tom. It's on the way. We'll be arriving at the right station in one minute. All right, here we go. I love all the supplies on top of the train. I think that's so cool. Dawn from Maryland, good morning to you. Susan says, tries to never miss it. Why did you have a chance to check out Rafika's Planet Launch? Jeffrey asking an interesting I question. Now arriving at this platform. So did the outcry after the rumored closing of Rafiki's Planet Watch potentially change Disney's mind on what they were planning to do? Interesting question. It's hard to know what might be going on behind the scenes. Um, my guess would be they were probably planning a refurbishment all along. Those tend to be pretty complicated, expensive, important decisions. So my guess is that over the course of a couple of days, they wouldn't have made a, a big switch.
taking off shortly. Welcome aboard the Wildlife Express on the way to the conservation station. Looks like the gates have been closed. Cast members are coming through to close the doors to the train car. And Leslie from the UK. Stephanie asked, do I use a GoPro? Actually, I use an iPhone. Looks like the last few people exiting. Maybe looking for a spot to sit. Cindy from Bellevue, Ohio. In Northern Ohio, hope you're having a good day. Brenda from Akron. Michelle said it was here in July and it was hot. I believe it. Okay, almost time. Looks like they're getting everything wrapped up here. Hi, Lisa. Bruce from Plantana, Texas. Barbara from South Jersey. Uh, looks, we should be, looks like we should be pretty close to taking off. <laughs> Lisa said she likes how the train has you sit. It's interesting, yeah, you kind of force her out the side, which is kind of cool. There we go.
Okay, here we are. Welcome to the Conservation Station. Hope you enjoyed the train ride here. More signs for the Disney Play app. It's a fun little walk back here to the Conservation Station. Fun to see the things along the way. There are a lot of posters here for upcoming Disney nature films. Interesting artwork along the way. Disney nature film on bears, which actually looks pretty cool. This is one I would really like to see, Disney nature film on chimpanzees. All right, we got all the folks coming off the train, headed into the conservation station. We'll pause for just a minute. And it's a good time for me to share with you the, the contest. Oh, Randy says, does anyone know what Club 33 is? Yes, Club 33 is a pretty exclusive club that's available to the general public, um, but it is a members only club, generally for those with, how can I say, a lot of money. So Club 33 has existed at Disneyland for a long time. There's a years long waiting list, cost I believe tens of thousands of dollars there to get in. Um, the one here at Walt Disney World is opening soon. There will be one in each park. I believe the initiation fee is something like $15,000 or $25,000, and then probably another ten or 15000 a year to maintain your membership. You get exclusive access to Club 33 guest lounges. There's one above the American Adventure at Epcot. There's one in Adventureland at the Magic Kingdom. Um, the one at Disney's Animal Kingdom, we don't really know where that one is yet. Uh, the one at Disney's Hollywood Studios, I believe, is in the Catwalk Bar. So if you have an extra 40 grand and you're looking to take someone for dinner, sign up to Club 33 and give me a call. Okay, so um, prize for this week. I'm excited to be able to share with you a Disney trading pin. So if you enter to win this week and you are one of the selected, you're the selected winner, You'll get this Disney trading pin with Minnie Mouse trucking. Uh, one lucky winner will get that. If you win and you have also shared the video, I will throw in a $15 Disney gift card. So I always appreciate when everybody shares the videos. Uh, to enter, you can send an email to me. Uh, send it with a subject of Rafiki and send the email to info at worldofwalt.com. I will enter you to win the prize be accepting prize uh, submissions through Monday, October 1st. I'll give the prize out sometime on or after the second. Tim is starting a World of Walt fan club and it doesn't cost a penny, maybe a few dimes. That's a much better deal than uh, 40 grand to get into Club 33. I could call it uh, the World of Walt Club 32 because it's, you know, ahead of its time. Or maybe it would be 34, I'm not sure. Sue entered, Kimberly shared, thank you very much. All right, welcome to Rafiki's Planet Watch. Most of the crowds have dispersed down the trail here. We're gonna go back to the conservation station and we'll check out the petting zoo as well. 
can see Rafiki welcoming you to his area. Kathy said, very peaceful area it is. Yeah, especially when the crowds sort of disperse back here, it's very peaceful, kind of quiet. A little cooler with the shade, nice place to visit. Stephanie says, loves the trails. Chris from Seattle, Washington, thanks for tuning in here live. Welcome to Rafiki's Planet Watch. Conservation is people taking care of animals and the wild places where they live. As you would expect, plenty of Rafiki photo ops, including this one. Kind of fun. Kathy said we'd rather be in the pin club, or in the club, thank you. Hey, you save a lot of money that way. You can go and buy a car, or maybe even a house in some areas. Anne from New Jersey, thank you for being here. Matt from Morgantown, West Virginia. Home of Don Knotts, I did not know that. I like Don Knotts. Okay, a lot of people checking out the activities along the way. Wilderness Explorers here for kids. Uh, left or right? I think Rafiki's pointing to the right, so we'll do that. Fran from Buffalo, thanks for being here. Welcome to Rafiki's Planet Watch. Yeah, interesting, interesting how the rumors and news stories broke over the past week, but based on what we know right now, it looks like Rafiki's Planet Watch will close on October 20th. Actually, today, September 29th, is supposed to be the last day for character meet and greets. This area will close on October 20th and then reopen sometime in the spring of 2019. There were rumors that maybe it was closing for budget reasons, which still could be the case. Maybe it was going to get rethemed because Utopia was a popular idea. But now it looks like it's probably just going down for a relatively minor refurbishment. Ed from Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania. How's it going? Matt asked, are there any snakes? You know, I've never seen one back here, but this is a pretty wild area. This is Florida, so it would not surprise me if there are some slithering friends hiding in the bushes somewhere. But I'm glad that I have not run into any personally. Okay, here we are, the big reveal for the conservation station. We're gonna go inside, check it out. Love the huge mural here. Came in once and saw the veterans, or the veterinarians, excuse me, doing a operation on an animal. Never know what you might see here. We'll go in, we'll check out what's happening indoors, and then we'll also go outside and check out the petting zoo, which is probably unlike most petting zoos you've seen. All right. Look at all the artwork here, it's really, really cool. Brian AC, right on. Okay, here we are inside the conservation station. Oftentimes you'll be able to see in where they do studies and care on the animals. Sometimes, you know, it looks like the case here today. We have a cast member who's holding an animal, sharing some information. Let's take a second and listen in. Tragic. You throw an apple core out the car window, 
That can attract their food, which attracts them. Oftentimes you'll see them fill up the side of the road because it becomes kind of an all-you-can-eat death buffet where they're dodging traffic. Um, you know, not using single use plastics, not using poisons. If you can naturally control Interesting conversation by the cast member talking about conservation, things that you can do at home to make an impact for animals. Barb asks, is that a hawk? I'm not sure. It's a very impressive looking animal though. On the backstage tours, I've actually been inside some of these rooms where the scientists take samples from the animals to do tests, um, feces, blood, kind of check on the animal health. Ryan's a fan of the animal cutouts, which I think are kind of cool. It's like we've got something going on over here. Let's see if we can take a look. It's <laughs> like we've got something going on with the turtle. <laughs> you can see on the big screen, the turtle is ready to get going. Shawnee asks, how's the humidity? It's, it's up. It's up today. Interesting, you never know what you might see going on with the vets. Plenty of aquariums here with crawly things. And we have some reptiles. And it looks like some kind of guy hanging off right up there. I sort of see a shadow. All right, let's head outside, back into the humidity. Check out what's going on in the affection section, which is the petting zoo. Kind of fun to check out. You're welcome. Okay, no food or drinks, which is good. So you don't want to get attacked by the animals. No feeding. Be gentle. Don't put your hand in the mouth. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. All right, let's see what animals are out here today. I see a goat wandering free. So I understand from the Disney cast members that uh, these areas are set up so that when the animals want a break, they can easily walk in here. You can still see them, but maybe not touch them if they're just sort of tired of people. And they can come out if they want to sort of check things out. Cheryl from Chile, Indiana. How's it going? Welcome to Rafiki's Planet Watch. Looks like we got some more goats over here. There's a guy eating his breakfast right here. going to try to pet the goat. Yeah. Nice goat. Nice goat. Don't bite me. Okay, that's good. Looks like we maybe have some sheep over here. But they get the fans with the mistress. That's nice. Tim asks, where will the animals go during the refurbishment? Good question. I don't know. If we weren't in Florida, I'd say they'd probably go to Florida. Yeah, it's very possible they might just be able to hang around where they are right now.
Okay, everybody. I appreciate your. Oh, we got a little bit of a bother. there. Appreciate your joining in today. Wanted to share with you one last time the fact that I am doing a giveaway today. I hope you might be able to join in. So, what is the giveaway today? I'm giving away this really cool Minnie Mouse trekking pin to one lucky winner. I think the goat wants to win too, or sheep, whatever it is. Um, if you win the pin and you have also shared the video, I will toss in a $15 Disney gift card. I'll be accepting entries through Monday, October 1st. If you would like to be entered to win, here's what you can do. Send an email to me. Make the subject of that email Rafiki in honor of us checking out Rafiki's Planet Watch today. Send the email to info at worldofwalt.com. I'll enter you to win. I'll pick a winner on Tuesday or sometime thereafter. The winner will get the pin. If you've also shared the video, I'll include the $15 Disney gift card. It's my way of saying thanks for tuning in, spreading the word. I appreciate it. Tom says, thanks for doing it. It's fun. You're welcome. I appreciate you being a part of it. Lacey shared and sent me the email. Thanks for doing that. Thanks for being here today live at Disney's. There's a llama back there. He's kind of in the shade a little bit on the left-hand side. Appreciate your being here for our chance to go check out Rafiki's Planet Watch one last time before it closes on October 20th and hopefully reopens in the spring. Thank you for joining me, Disney's Animal Kingdom, on a sunny Saturday morning, mid-80s going up to 90s. Okay, everybody, hope you have a great day, great week, and as always, God bless.